you mean just the Premier League? That's the top flight. Yeah, Is that yeah, what you you're mean? out of the yeah, you're out of the of Premier the League. the Premier so, League, but you're a whether, whether championship is, is all right. Okay. Yeah, so whether, whether and that's up to them whether it's down to lower divisions. But even what I'm saying is, even if they had to sell all of their top players, right, would still be able to say they went down to League Two. They'd be able to attract championship caliber players because of who they are and what they've got to spend versus their competitors, right? And we've seen someone like Wrexham come in and with the brand recognition of Ryan Reynolds and all of that, they've been able to spend more than their competitors by having higher attendances, getting bigger sponsors, attracting that than their teams around them. So they, I don't think they would languish for four years in like League Two or League One. I, I think they would get up quite quickly. I think it all depends on on, on the uh, what also would be a factor for, for City and Chelsea and any one of our teams that this happened to is would the owners stay? You know, would the owners sell a lot? Like, sell a lot? that's the thing. If suddenly the shake turned around and said, "Do you know what? Um, I feel like we've been mistreated. I'm leaving. I'm selling the club. I'll sell it because he could afford to sell it for a pound. He, he, he might not even get a price for it." That could change things dramatically. Clear Lake and Todd Bowley could say, we're out. That we'll would be it. scummy, considering it was them who kind of got them in that. It would, be, it would, it would be. But no, if you're, think about it but this, is, said, this is the irony of it. This is what I would say to fans of those clubs. If your owners are cheats, then why would... They've already cheated you once by putting you in this situation. Why would they not cheat you again by, 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 by pulling the rug from under your feet? Because at the end of the day, that's... If they've cheated... You're not a great person anyway, right? If you cheated, like cheat, cheats are not, are not the nicest of people. We have a super chat here that says, uh, lots of misinformation here. Listening to uh, Bronson, ex City, uh, who faces 115 Chelsea losses, including women's team, stadium, 100 and under 20s. Chelsea will get three sponsors, four shirts, and trading ki training kits, two of which are 40 million each. Uh, Hall 20, 28 million, Musiala sell on clause, etc. So I don't think it's misinformation per se. And and what I would say about, about Stefan, I know that he's an ex Chelsea, uh, sorry, an ex Manchester City uh, finance guy, but this is also being echoed by the likes of Dr. Rob and Kieran Maguire and other independent financial experts. And they're basing it on the trading accounts that Chelsea and, and, and so far and the quarterly accounts that Chelsea are releasing. So, for instance, what nobody knew until very recently, including anyone. In, and this is what I would say about misinformation. I know as a Chelsea fan to hear, and I, I, big, I respect the Super Chat. You've been a long-time viewer at the Terrace, and I respect you. I'm not saying everything is 100% accurate. I'm saying you should be asking questions and not just going, it's all going to be okay. Because the shock could be worse. You have to ask questions. And I'll tell you as to why. Everybody, including and their dog, thought that Mason Mount Sal last in the summer went into this year, went into this year. We were all, every Chelsea fan I spoke to, and oh, that, that, that sorts us out for this year, FFP. And everybody believed that. Turns out the Mason Mount sale went into last year and nobody knew until those six month accounts came out. So this is why the experts are saying it's strange because every time Chelsea feed the media with something about their finances, when the actuals come out, the actual financials come out, it isn't all adding up. So they're asking the questions. And of course, new sponsorship deals are on their way. But who would be surprised if some of these sponsorship deals don't have clauses in them? Because I know Man United do. That if you're not in the Champions League, so Man United, when it comes to Adidas, if we missed out on the Champions League more than two years running, there was something like a 25% reduction in that year's money that we got from them. So yes, you might have a £40 million shirt sponsorship coming that's been agreed, but that could be £40 million if you're in the Champions League. It might not be. It could be £40 million irrespective. But what if that drops to £20 million? All these things have to be considered because if everything was all well at Chelsea, the finances would tell you that the financials, the actuals, don't lie. They tell a very compelling story, by the way, about all of our football clubs, all of them. And it's what, you know, it's people go, oh, I went on a website, Terry, and it says that Man City's wage bill is only £200 million. No, it's not. It's £490 million. Their trading accounts tell us that. And the trading accounts are more accurate than some website. Chelsea Press, in my opinion, Chelsea Media is still playing this down far too much. I'm equally not saying 
the world is ending. I, my point to Chelsea fans is you should be looking at this, you should be asking questions, and you should be scrutinizing to the nth degree to make sure your club, forget yourselves, it's making sure your club is actually okay. Because I'm telling you this, that I, your owners, there's something about them I don't trust. Mm. There's something about them I don't trust. The way they're grassing themselves up, the things that have been done 10 years ago, tells me they know there's issues coming. Because why are they trying to butter up the authorities? There's something about it to hear. And, I, and I'm saying this from a position of care. Because I don't want to see anyone's club go through this. I've said about Chelsea City the whole time. If City get relegated or get in trouble, have their trophies taken away, for the shake and co-cheating, the people I'll feel sorry for the most will be Manchester City's fans, who in my opinion will have their history eradicated in front of their very eyes due to their owners not being honest. And I feel the same about Chelsea. If you guys end up losing a lot of what is your club because of financial mismanagement, lies, mistruths, and dodgy financial dealings, I will genuinely feel sorry for you. This isn't a place of me. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing about any of it. But I feel this stuff is serious, no, mate. No, I really think them. it's serious. Not all of them. I wouldn't feel sorry for the guys that said, yeah, we can spend more. Give me more money. Let's outspend everyone. And we told them this is but There was a story great. that came I'm out. Not, I'm not happy. Like, Bro, to be honest, story, some of them I, I want to say this it. was probably in about September. And I want to say it was Matt Law, but I could be wrong. Another Chelsea journalist said, yeah, look, don't worry, Chelsea fans. There's going to be another 300 million to spend next summer. Yeah. I remember looking at it as someone that has a certain level of financial experience. How, if you're not in the Champions League? How, if you don't increase, it, it doesn't make sense because although you amortize it over eight years, you're still creating a bigger, bigger and bigger debt sheet every single year. Wage bills are going to keep increasing. They're going to keep going up if you're adding all these people on. They're also talking about increasing the wages of the likes of Cole Palmer and co. So you're increasing their wages, signing even more people, and they've got, they're not signing more kids. They're signing experience now. So they're going to be on big money. How are you affording this? There's a there is a there's a problem coming somewhere because without Champions League money, all of us would be in trouble. All of us would be in trouble without. That's why that. he went to Saudi Arabia. He's trying to raise sales again. Todd Bully went to Saudi Arabia trying to raise sales again. He's trying to raise about 150 to 200 million of sales of some of the players he has to Saudi Sorry, Arabia I said, again. I said debtors, by the way, creditors. You're creating more Credit. creditors. But you're creating yeah. more debt for your football club. Whether it's wages, wages are a debt as well because you have a. They're obliged to be. It's not like a normal employee. You're obliged to pay them. You can't get away from it. Um, this year says we differ there. Tell I want to see them relegated. Mo ignorance isn't an excuse for negligence. Down yes. Chelsea. Down. I, I never said that. I said I, I would just. I probably misunderstood what the what the people said about expel them or, or from the league. Championship is going to be fine if it goes one year and they can come back up. That's fine. But I think they're going to be hit financially with a big big. Thing and I, I don't think they can keep the players, but we'll see. Listen, Leeds, Leeds are in the current moment in that, if I'm not mistaken, in the top 20 clubs in terms of revenue around the world. Where are they now? Championship, they're struggling. It's not only about the money. 20. Yeah, they're, they're, imagine get, this: I, Leeds are in the top 20 clubs, if I'm not mistaken, right? In terms of like the, the their revenue, their turnover is like 200 million plus something or something like this. Listen, I think the Premier League created a brand. They will punish Chelsea. They will find a way to punish Chelsea, I believe, without expelling them from the league. I agree with it or I disagree with it. That's not my place to say that. I am just telling you what is going to happen. I believe, which is this is when we disagree with Lawless and Terry, that if City and Chelsea, both of them expelled from the Premier League, it will hurt the brand. They disagree with me. I'm not here to, to, to give like... Uh, uh, what should happen to tell you what should happen in the league or something. There are people that actually mm. know the law that they should, that they will give. And and this is the thing. Like the new, I just, I just researched this while we're looking and this is just very quick. The new shirt sponsorship is going to be 40 million. Cool. But the old shirt sponsorship was also according here to this report from free was 40 million a season. So yes, you've got a new one coming in. It's only replacing the same amount of money. And this is what I would say to Chelsea fans, research what the, all the old sponsors for your training kits, are yes. what the new ones are, and look at the difference in them because it makes probably... a flashy headline, doesn't it? Chelsea get new 40 million sponsor, and you think, yes. Oh wow, that's brilliant, but you don't think what was the old one? Like, what was the and again? You maybe you know, for, you, you might find okay, the last training kit sponsor was 25 million, the new one is 30. Great, it's five million up, it's a drop in the ocean for what you need. So, I just think it's worth this. Is what I say to Chelsea fans 
Don't disbelieve and go mental. Don't bury your head in the sand like an ostrich. Scrutinize and research from a like take yourself out of being a Chelsea fan and look at it and open your eyes a little bit. I, I, I would say here. Let's do some of these super chats. Talk Leicester. They are on the brink of coming up. They are on the brink of coming up. Good to see them back in the Premier League. I like Leicester. Uh, Twitter is children. Why do you take them seriously? Because there are millions of people on Twitter, and these are actually fans. And, and some yeah. of these accounts... You know, I hate this. Followers. I hate this. You know, I hate this. When people say Twitter, people aren't real fans. So who are the real fans? Then? The only people that go to the stadium or the people that don't go to Twitter? All of us are friends, right? Yeah. I support my club. As long as you stay within your club, since you chose your club, you're a real fan, right? People that go to the stadiums or people that don't go to the stadium. Twitter people, they are, Twitter is a part of social media. Are YouTubers fans and Twitter aren't? Are Twitch people fans? People stop this notion. Yes, they are kids and they are, they are all people, they are trolls, but they are right. still fans. They're still fans. They're still part of the fan base. Terry's got breaking news. It's breaking news, yes. but it's it's a madness news. I'm going to put this up on the screen so everybody can see that I'm not making this up and I'm not lying and I'm, I'm being fair. So UEFA, from the beginning of next season, you can't spend more than 70% of your income on transfers, agent fees, salaries, bonuses, player, in, player expenditure. The Premier League is going to be adopting that as well. This is why Chelsea's situation is so interesting to me. So let me just put my screen on full screen and then I'm going to share my screen with you. So this is Chelsea's last set of trading accounts, as, as you can all see here. 589 million of income they have coming in. Great. 79%, this figure here shows 79% of Chelsea's turnover already gets spent on wages. Wow. So that's 9% above the new the new limit that doesn't include ladies and gentlemen transfer fees that doesn't include bonuses that doesn't it might that actually might include the bonuses to be fair let me take that away doesn't include transfer fees doesn't include agent fees for players so chelsea have to reduce their salary by nine percent and probably more so what well, they're spending a year on players and by the way you can't do net spend because the income of the club already includes the, the players you sell. So let's say Chelsea are averaging what? 150, 200 million a year in sales. That's a good 20 to 30% of your turnover. You add that in, you are spending more than 100% of your income on player expenditure. That had to go, that had to drop by 30% under these new rules and regulations. So, or you've got to increase your income by hundreds of millions of pounds net per year. This is why Chelsea fans, I didn't, I never even read that. I just went to, this is from Deloitte, Deloitte, very credible. This is from your trading account. This is why I say that Chelsea fans do the research away from your own media outlets and your own journalists and start looking into it yourself because there are some sums here that just to me, oops, to me, don't look right. 